It's extremely important that uh, we look at, uh, in terms of documentation, what's required within the building solution, uh, building the solution stage, because this is this is probably uh, the biggest stage within the uh, structured software development approach. However, it's a stage in which a lot of practical takes place. So it's it, sometimes we, when we're completing uh, the structured software development process, we forget about the documentation that's actually required within this stage. And there are three aspects of documentation that are identified within the rubric. Probably the the, the top two are the, the main ones I'm going to um, have some focus on. So constructs a comprehensive documentation of all alpha testing via the online journal and provides uh, constant documentation of 5 plus uh, errors identified in the programming process. So they're, they're the two things um, that I'm going to draw your attention towards. So firstly, uh, when we are actually designing a or developing our software solution, we're constantly doing alpha testing. So every time we uh, create some aspect of our of our program will often go straight to build and run, open up the simulator, check to see everything's working, have a little bit of a, a play around, make sure everything's all all in correct, um, uh, all the correct processes are carrying out. Now, now that, for example, is alpha testing. So one of the things that we have to try and make sure that we actually do is that we document this. And how we can document this is a variety of ways, um, and it's really up, up to us. But we're just going to make sure that we capture the the the, um, the bugs that are uh, appearing within our development, and also the fixes that we've been able to to implement. So every time that you you come up with you build and run, and you come up with some some errors, and uh, probably a good idea is to actually start to create some screenshots of those errors. So just by, with the Max, if you hit Shift Command 4, you can then do a screenshot of, of exactly where the error has occurred. Um, so that may be within the implementation folder, and you, you might have a specific error there, so you wanna screenshot that. The next thing that you wanna do is to then create um, and exit in your development diary. So one of the things I always do is I have my development diary in a word processor. I construct it. Once I've got it formulated, then I then upload it to my online journal. So I have the, the date of which I'm constructing my development diary. So I put that in. So 17th September 2010. Okay. And then I outline the, the, the bugs that, that have... Um, uh, I've come across so uh, incorrect, incorrect uh, syntax for um, nested if control sorry binary control structure. So that would be an example of a bug that I would state. Now, I may also want to then include um, uh, the picture. If I just identify there is there. I might want to drag and drop my picture in there just to help with my. There we go there. Okay, and my fixes. And then I could start to maybe explain um, uh, after uh, sorry, after reviewing the following website. And this is where we start to use different types of media. So I may want to um, hyperlink the word website and actually provide a link to the website that I've used within my um, development. So this gives a really good snapshot of, of the types of errors that you've come up against, how you've solved them, and obviously in terms of the the marking criteria that um, uh, the rubric that was outlined. So a comprehensive documentation. So I think what I've done there is an example of comprehensive documentation by using the picture plus the, the hyperlink. Um, and then also provides constant documentation of at least five plus errors um, within the programming process. So that was the example of one. I would have to 
have four more errors there that I would have documented. So that's that's a really good example of um, what's required within the next um, six or seven lessons in terms of um, uh, alpha testing. Also remember, as I, as I stated there before, I've just uh, done this within a word processor and my next step would be to upload that onto a, onto a journal.